screen is turning. Let me see. What do I have to wipe it off with? We'll get one of these here. I am early. Sorry. There we go. I am early on this live chat, but I knew that if I did not log on right now, I would forget. So we are on. I'm trying to get on my computer so I can see the chat group. I see some people coming on. Let's mute that. Okay. We won't actually, oh, I'm sitting on the floor and this is so not comfortable because our entryway is tile. So I got to Hank is waiting. Hank. Hank. Hey, Sherry. Hi. Gosh, I always, you tell me how to pronounce it. Um, no. What, what is popping up on my computer here? LM? No, I know that's not it, is it? Can you, like, break it up how I'm supposed to pronounce it? Sorry. Hey, crafty girl down south, Angie. Alem. Okay, Elaine. Hi. I'm a mess. I did not do my makeup or anything. I randomly decided to do this live. I was going to film it for today's video, and then I was like, you know what? Let's go live. That way we can chat, catch up. Hey, Lisa. And yeah, so I did not have time to do my makeup. I'm working on Saturday's DIY video and I was like you know what we'll take a break <laughs> and we will do this thrift haul so I won't start until 1130 since that's when I told people I would be on here so we could just chat for like 10 minutes awesome I said it right make sure to leave your girl a thumbs up I would appreciate it hey Denise how's your YouTube channel going girly if you guys see me look down, it's because I'm looking at my laptop that's on the floor so that I can see your guys' um, chats, chats. Do not pay attention to any of my decor. I literally wiped out my house and took like all my decor to my booth. And then I just have like, <laughs> I'm going a candle, plain candle. Should probably be up there, but you know, it is what it is. Don't see. Hey, Tiffany. How's it going, girl? I'm sorry if you guys are joining me for the first time live, which I don't think anybody is a first timer here, but I have the crappiest internet ever. So it's probably not going to be like the clearest you've ever seen. That's awesome, Denise. I'm glad it's going well, girly. It is a lot of fun. I mean, it's we're crafting and we're doing what we love, it, and you're just filming it, basically. Yay! So excited for you, Elaine. What did you guys decide, or what did you guys um, end up finding for a vehicle? Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sherry. Sending you guys positive vibes. Good morning, Amy. Hello, Sophia. Hey, Fanny. If you guys have not checked out, if you guys are one of my DIYers, uh, Creations by Favi, she does some amazing DIYs. So go check out her channel after we are done here. A Ford Edge. <laughs> That's, are the edges, or is that an SUV? People are sending you their prayers, Sherry. How many people do we got on here? 16. For those of you that have been with me, isn't it so nice not seeing that bright red wall behind me? It was all bright, bright, like patriotic red. 
Yes. Okay. It's an SUV. We have um, a Suburban and I love it. Like I can never, I never want anything else. My Suburban is amazing. If I did get anything else, I would get the Suburban, but with uh, pilot seats, I think that's what they call them, where there's like a hole in the middle so that they can like easily walk to the back. That's what I would get. Hey, Natty. Lisa, it's Elaine that's getting the new car and you're getting new toilets put in. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have like the weirdest toilets ever. When we moved into this house in November, the like toilet in the kids' bathroom is like crazy weird high and super long. And then ours in the master bedroom is just like a standard toilet. It's really weird. Kim, I did start early. I knew if I did not come and get on that I would forget to come on. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna chat. I haven't started the thrift haul yet though. I said I would wait until uh, 11.30 when everybody gets on here. I gotta have a toilet. Yes, you do. You have a 70s bathroom, one pink and one blue. Like the tiles and everything, Natty. I remember in the old apartment we lived in in California, some of the um, the apartments still had like the peach color tile and like bathtub. <coughs> What's up, bud? Watch out for the computer. Why do you have to that and that? Because this helps me see the chat group where everybody's saying like, hello, and then this is recording. You're probably not gonna be able to sit on me for very long because we're on the tile. My alarm telling me to stop my DIYing and get on the computer. Hey, Natty, everything comes back around. So that might be like in trend again in the next couple months. You just never know. Um. Tiffany asks, when do y'all start officially decorating for fall? For me, it's way earlier than most of you because I'm already like creating stuff. So I start decorating. Um, but this year, since I'm making stuff, I'm putting it in my booth. So I don't really know when I'll actually start August, September, October, maybe like the end of August. So that's only a couple weeks because August fall starts the end of September. So yeah, probably the end of August. Hello, Kellen. Don't stick your tongue out. Say hi. Say hi to everyone. If you're going to be over here, don't be rude. Say hi. Hi, Samantha. Say hi to everyone if you're gonna stay over here. Okay, then go to your room. You can't be rude, you need to say hello. Everett, stop. Sitting a couple of things out here and there. Yeah, I say, you know what? The world is so crazy right now. Decorate whenever you want. <laughs> Start Christmas now. I've, had, I've actually had people on the DIY channel say like it's never too early to start christmas videos and i'm like oh man no i can't take out those boxes too it would be a heaping hot mess down in the basement if i took out my christmas boxes as well as the fall box i actually only had one box from last year full of fall stuff and most of it was like um like actual decor i made last year and then like the glass pumpkins and uh, velvet pumpkins that I picked up last year. It wasn't like a lot of craft stuff, which is surprising. Oh, thank you, Sherry. We call that the, the backyard mom special. We do a mohawk. He has like a crazy calic. So like when his hair starts growing out, it just wants to go like in front of his face. So the mohawk is the best thing for his hair. So we need a actually trim up the sides before school starts. Ugh, my nose is 
itchy. I'm sitting on the floor with all the dog hair. Not Christmas yet, right? See, I love fall because it's beautiful here in Kansas when fall hits and the leaves start turning and it is so beautiful. John and I had our wedding at the end of October and it was breathtaking how beautiful it was here in Kansas. Hey, Connie, how's it going, girl? Yeah, I want to go to, I was just watching Crafty Girls uh, decorate like with me video. I was like, I really want to like this year decorate because last year we were still at the old house. I decorated last year. Um, but like this year I want to like do like the guest bathroom that like everybody sees and even maybe get like a throw for our room and kind of like make it throughout the entire house. So I want to go to uh, ours is a home goods and Marshalls connected to each other. I want to go there and get like a couple things like soaps and things like that. <laughs> and then it leads to winter. Yeah. I'm like, I don't like the heat, but I don't like the snow either. So, meh. All right, what time is it? 29, we're going to go ahead and start with this haul. So you guys, this weekend, so I've told you guys, if you watch my DIY videos, that I have been going to like thrift stores, Goodwills, all that. The Goodwill in our area, the prices are horrible. They are like everything. I, I kid you not, everything is through like, almost everything except maybe like a few random things are $3.99 and up. There's no in between. There's like nothing that is less and like it's like dinnerware bowls or cups or you know things like that. But everything else it's the weirdest thing is like $3.99, $5.99 and they like go up in increments of two. It's just weird. It's just weird. But I've only been there once and then I decided to go there again because they were having 25% off for back to school for their loyalty members. So I was like, you know what, Let, let's go hit them up. We can't, I mean, it can't be that bad. Well, I took John and the kids and even John was like, we are not coming back here because they have a lot of good stuff, but it's so expensive. Even with 25% off, we left and spent $45 and we hardly we had like anything then we went to savers because i was like oh my we could get more at savers and the prices and the items are going to be way better because i've been trying to stay out of savers and go more towards like the thrift stores and stuff because my one salvation army is like amazing their prices are amazing they are pushing stuff out and they want to get rid of it and they are priced to sell so i love our salvation army Sorry, you guys, I can't read all the comments and look over here. Yeah, Goodwills are, are crazy right now. Salvation Army is where it's at. But I'm going to show you what I got at Goodwill first. And again, this was with 25% off. And then I'll show you what we picked up at Savers. So, show, 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 show. Let me see. I'll start with this. So, I've been watching. It's called, her channel is Sonnet's Garden. And her name is Sonnet. She is great if you like upcycles and thrifting and all that. She does booths and she was saying that she's finding like a lot of like amber kind of glass stuff to put in her booth for fall. And I'm like, that's a good idea. You don't have to upcycle it. It's a beautiful piece of glass and it's great because it transitions from like fall to Thanksgiving and so on, depending on your decor. So I found this beautiful glass piece and look at, do you see like the details? right there and then inside the like round glass there's like a little like starburst that's what i'm gonna call it anyways um and it's it's really it's tall it's big there is like a kind of like a big scratch on the side but it's i don't know it's not that noticeable and this was at the goodwill for 3.99 so i thought this is like a really good thick piece of glass put a couple sprigs of 
I don't know, you could even do like the cotton or you can do eucalyptus. I mean, really, that's moon and stars. Oh, is it? How pretty, what? This car we don't want to play. Okay. Oh, okay. That will hurt on someone else. Okay. Your parents had drinking glasses that look like that. Isn't it crazy the things that you could find? I always say that when I go thrifting and it takes you back to a certain like place or time in your life. I find that Value Village is getting really bad. So Savers in Canada, right Angie? So $3.99, I thought this would be perfect. Put a couple sprigs in there and I would probably sell this for like $15.95 $15 probably. I paid $4, so probably $15.95 I would sell it for. I am definitely uh, right now trying to just price things to move them and also to see that like what people are picking up in my booth. I don't want to overprice and sit on it forever because your girl wants to keep shopping. <laughs> Sorry. That was $3.99. Then you guys, um, I am not, this is just, I am not religious. We are not religious in our household. Um, so we don't really like display crosses or any of that stuff in our home, but I know other people do. So I always am on the lookout for crosses and they actually sell very well. I had thrifted a cross from Goodwill actually, and the day I put it up, it sold. Um, and then I found this one and it's big, like this, like it's like half my body. And it's wood, I think the color of the wood is like perfect, this creamy, distressed wood. And it has the iron attached to it. I think the iron is beautiful. I love that the flower is not a color, you know? And it was $3.99. I have that cross in red, isn't that crazy? That's so crazy. I had the wood mother load at my Goodwill two weeks ago. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And it already has, and it, this was from, oh, it actually has like a, the Design House LLC, I don't know, but it already has the hanger. And so $3.99, I would probably price this one at like $17.95 or something like that. The other one was much smaller and I put $15.95 on it and it literally flew off the wall. So I was really excited. It has some damage, but things like this, I think it just adds more character and shows that like it's older. So $3.99, I will leave it. And remember all the Goodwill stuff, I ended up getting 25% off of my total purchase. Okay, what else did we get from there? Okay, those were savers, savers really didn't get that okay hold on I think this was from Goodwill this was a random price $249 it's probably the only thing in the entire store that was under $399 but these are so easy to flip y'all because this embossed metal and this one is like the perfect color all I have to do is paint white chalk paint over it get some sandpaper distress the scalloped edges and then the embossed embossed metal right here and it takes it to a whole nother level and i can totally sell this for i don't know i would probably do like 12.95 or something once it's all painted and all that stuff um so that was 249 very random john saw it love the chicken rooster i got that at savers do i still have the price tag on it probably not um, I think this was like $3.99 at Savers. Everything I get is from the thrift store, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, what else? What else from that from Goodwill? I got this grapevine wreath. Now, I see grapevine wreaths all the time at Savers, and they're $3.99, and I never pick them up because I'm like, I could get a cleaner, newer one at Hobby Lobby when they are at like 40 or 50% off for the same price. And they're like clean and not all but nasty. Mommy, what? Why do we never go to the dollar um, Hobby Lobby? We go to Hobby Lobby, honey. No, we don't. Okay. 
Sorry, we'll go to Hobby Lobby, okay? Ew. Yeah, this has like, ooh, yeah. We need to clean this. This has like a big old, can you see it inside there? That's like a spider nest kind of thing. Yuck. So these are things that you need to get like those air cans and spray them down because this thing is dirty. But I got this one because it was $3.99 and I loved how thick the branches were in here. Because usually grapevine wreaths, they're smaller, you know, like branches all spun together. But I loved how thick these branches were. They were just like really, I don't know, I liked it. So I paid the $3.99 for it, but I definitely need to clean this because this thing is gross. Gross. I'm missing all the conversation. Ew, lovely, right? And then I found one of these. Now I've been seeing these used a lot in embroidery hoop on um, channels that do upcycling and stuff. They just put like a drop cloth in there or beautiful thing of fabric and then use their stamps on here. So this was like a really good size. It was $3.99, but I don't see these very often at our thrift stores. So I picked it up because of the size and there's nothing wrong with it. It looks like it's brand new. So I grabbed that too. Hey Liz, how's it going girly? See, that's what I do. That's why I jumped on here early because I knew I would forget even if my alarm went off. All right, and then I grabbed, these are just for Everett. They are size medium, so he'll have some room to grow into them, but they were nice sweaters, and I think they were like, the red tags were 250 or something like that. Um, stick in a garage bag for a while. Are you talking about the grapevine wreath? Yeah, Angie, now we could do it together. So I grabbed this. It seriously looks like a brand new sweater. We know how kids stuff it is. They grow out of it. Already got Hank slobber all over it. So yeah, this was, I believe, two bucks. And I got this one, and then there was a second one in green, the same exact size. And again, like perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with it. it. It doesn't even have like the lint balls on it, you know, that like usually this stuff would. So the kid probably wore it like three times and then grew out of it. So I found that one and then this super cute, um, let me see, stick in a garbage bag for a while. Um, this flannel for him, it's by Eli Cattleman. And it's a size medium, but it's like the pearly snap little flannel. And this isn't his size. He's going to have to grow into it. It's like a boy's medium or it could be a girl's, I guess. It was in the boy's section, but I thought that I'm like, hey, can I fit in this? No, you can't, girl. You cannot fit in that. So this one was two bucks too. And it has like the really pretty pearly snap buttons on there, which your girl loves. So... We found those for Everett. Love those. Yes. I can't believe Hank is in grace. Oh, he tried to, but he had a big old slobber hanging from his face right when I started this. So I yelled at him to get away. Now he's sleeping over there. Stinkerbell is over here. Stinkerbell. Frankie. Come here. Momo. No, leave Momo be. Come here. Let's say hi to everybody. Here's Tinkerbell. Hi. Tinkerbell is a bad boy. She's a bad girl. Yeah. She likes to poo poo and pee pee everywhere. <laughs> so uh, that's why we call her Stinkerbell. Stink. I like wearing men's clothes. I do too. They're comfy. They're comfy. Bad boy. Boo -boo -boo. All right. Get lost. Get lost, girl. All right. So I found, <laughs> I asked my husband, I go, am I weird for wanting this? But one, my favorite color is green. So I'm just drawn to it in general. But I thought this was really cool. Just like the skinny neck that it has, like the flat top. And then it has that flower in there. And again, I wouldn't do anything with this. Let me see where this is from. This was Goodwill and it was $3.99. Where was this fun? 
It says Home Inspirations, $24.99 was the original tag. So it's not an old piece at all, but I just really thought it was different and really cool. Put one sprig of something in there and put it with the fall stuff in my booth. Keep it for myself. Yeah, I might keep it for myself. I'm not sure. So that one was $3.99. Shocker. Shocker, $3.99. Now these were actually not $3.99 and I am probably just gonna leave them as is. I just thought that they were really cool to put on the walls of my booth. And they are actually originally from Kirkland's. Let me see if I could get this Goodwill tag off. Why would you? Like, why would you put the Goodwill tag over Kirkland's? You would think you would want people to see that it's a Kirkland's item and how much it originally sold for, but that's just me. So these were $2.99 each, and it says that they retail to Kirkland's for $14.99, and then they went $9.99 on Kirkland's clearance. Oh, the Design House LLC is actually Kirkland's. Where did we just see that? Or Kirkland. That cross, that cross was, right? Yeah, the cross was the Design House LLC. So that was probably Kirkland's. Uh, love the green base. I never like green, but I'm embracing it for fall this year. I love green. So sorry, you guys, let me show these to you <laughs> as I keep talking about them. So these, there's a black one and a turquoise one. I just thought for $2.99, these would be really cool. What are you doing, fool? <laughs> really cool to put on the walls of my booth and just like hang, I don't know, stuff. So, and they were $2.99 each. And I was like, girl, it says Kirkland's. I mean, why wouldn't I, right? This would look so beautiful in like a little girl's room or even a craft room to hang stuff from. But I mean, for $2.99, I mean, these things are massive. The knobs aren't even scratched up. I mean, they're in really great condition for $2.99. So, uh, 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 love the amber vase, yes. So I got those and then I found this, which let me know if you guys would paint this or just leave it. I'm partial because again, I love green. I'll paint it. You're gonna paint it? So this was $4.99 and it's glass. So it already looks like rustic and this is totally screaming no, cottage core to me. It's and it cute. has the beautiful birds, nothing's broken on them. Their beaks are fully intact. So are their little um, tail feathers. So would you guys paint this or leave it as is? I'm all about the bling bling, yes girl. And this again was $4.99. So I'm like, do I leave it or do I paint it? And my thing is too, you can, I can always put it in the booth and then if it doesn't sell like after a couple months or something, then I could, you know, repaint the stuff. So I think we'll just leave it as is. I have some like, imagine, no, that, no. Maybe like next to this. Look at how pretty that would look next to each other somehow. I don't know. The white wax wouldn't uh, stick to this, Denise, because it's like a glossy glass finish. So, yeah. So the white wax wouldn't adhere to this. If it was like a mat, I could totally put white wax, but the white wax would just wipe off of this. So yeah, I got that one. And then the last thing I got from Goodwill, or yeah, from the Goodwill is this, which I was like, I might keep this for myself. For fall. This thing is big, you guys, okay? That's the top. So it's going down to my waist and it has a wood bottom. This is like real wood. Mommy. Yes. stores they're they're like a tent food you can like glue them onto that and you can put them all the way to the top and you can make it like a basket 
That's very creative, honey. That's super creative. Um, sorry, trying to follow here. White was amber and green is beautiful. So many people love that olive color for fall. I like it as is. Do, 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 do. Love the basket. Yeah, and it had, which I thought, oh yeah, that's true, Jody. Jody said spray it with a clear coat and then use oh, the white wax. My foot's falling asleep. Um, our bathroom, I could probably do that, Elaine, in our master bathroom, but our the one upstairs is so small. But we thought, John and I actually thought this was cool because of the metal handle it has too. We thought that was like really different for a basket like this to see the metal handle and just like that detail that it has. I don't know. We thought this was really cool. And you guys, this was only $4.99. So please tell me, Goodwill, Goodbye. how something this big is $4.99, but then you have like this priced at $3.99. I'm saying like I, I don't get their pricing I don't know who does their pricing but this I see in our living room with blankets like coming out of it maybe even some pumpkins in there so I was super excited to school that basket for $4.99 Everett will you grab me one of my drinks out of the fridge mommy's throat is parched all right let me clean this up just a little bit and then we'll do our savers um finds so our savers is really good but it really depends on who's pricing this stuff and you definitely can see who's like if somebody's pricing things on a different day because the prices sometimes thank you baby are insane are insane there but john and i noticed i don't know if i told you guys this last time hey susan um but we were noticing because they had like cars and stuff like that. And John loves like Hot Wheels and all that stuff, just like it said. Hi, Jen. And we were looking them up on eBay just to see what they're going for. And we noticed that their prices are exactly in line with eBay. So I think people are starting to catch on and people at like Savers are researching before they're tagging. Um, I've also heard at one of it's called blessings abound here in Kansas and they actually have somebody that comes in and looks like the vintage stuff up and prices it like that not to move it but prices it like it would be on eBay or something so I'm a stickler okay let me show you what I found <laughs> So this is the first thing I picked up. And you guys are going to be like, what? Um, yes, Diane Savers is like a thrift store. I want to say it's just like a little nicer as in more organized, I would say, than a thrift store. Um, so I picked this up, you guys. I thought it was so cute and it's so gross. This thing is so disgusting. <coughs> They do research and use eBay. A Goodwill employee told me they do that. Yeah. Right? That Because, I mean, like I said, our Salvation Army. Can you guys only see from, like, my chest up? Because I don't want you guys seeing my legs. Um, but anyways, our Salvation Army is priced to sell. They have carts. Every time I'm there, they are pushing out more and more carts. So they are priced to sell. They want to get rid of their stuff. That is what I feel like all thrift stores should be doing and savers um but at our savers i have a girlfriend that works next door they throw out a lot of their stuff in the trash like if it doesn't move they have a huge pile of trash in the back they're going dumpster diving <laughs> okay you can't see my legs thank you glenna um Oh, I was going to spill that. Okay, so anyways, you guys, this thing is disgusting. Look at this. It has cobwebs. It looks like it was sitting outside. I don't know what somebody did to this, but I knew I could clean it up, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to keep it. It's just a sponge holder, and it was $1.49. It was the first thing I saw when I got in there, and I was like, it's cute. Glenna, you could come with me. 
<laughs> big brothers, big sisters. Yes, um, they do that as well, Laura. I don't think at all though, I'll have to research that because our savers does the big brothers, big sister, or big, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't know if all of the profits go there and I don't know how much goes there. Yeah, I would dumpster dive. I have no shame. Like I will go, if it's for free, your girl is picking it up. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not moving the camera, Marcia. It's on a stand. Every time you move the camera, the sound goes mute. Yeah, I'm not touching the camera at all. It's on a stand like across from me. So I'm not quite sure about that. Um, so I grabbed that. I always look for their candlesticks there because they usually have really good prices on their candlesticks. <laughs> you guys, I still have the price tag on this one from like a long time ago. Like that was, what, how much was that? $3.99? Yeah, I should probably take the tag off. Hi, Momo. So I found these, oh gosh, almost. I found these and I think these are gorgeous, the color they are. And they were $3.99 for the set. So two bucks each. I thought these were great. They're a wood and they're like a yellow and then they have like the chippy effect to them. So I picked those up. I am just gonna put them in my booth as is. Now, this one has cobwebs up in there too. My question for y'all, do you have a um, suggestion on how to get wax? off of candle holders because I've tried before to like kind of melt it to really get all of it out and I feel like it makes a bigger mess and then I can scrape it but it still doesn't get like all of the wax off so if anybody has any suggestions please let me know I went to a garage sale last week and they had a pile of trash on the road and asked if I could go through it and found so much stuff for free yes uh, it, it could be two ladies. It could be my internet. Um, I, we have horrible. Oh, try freezing it. Okay. Sherry, where did you go dumpster diving? Put them in the freezer. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. I'll try freezing them. Okay, freezer it is. I will try that. Um, so yeah, these were $3.99 for the set. Love these. And they're wood. They're wood. I love that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have to do anything to them. Like, look at even this cool, like, it looks like it's like broken, but it's meant to be like that. Do you see that right there? Just little details like that. I like that. Um, yeah, it's probably my internet. It, it's horrible. Will you guys do me a favor and leave the video a thumbs up because this will be staying up on my channel. All right, some other candlesticks I found. Now, these were $4.99 each, but they are really big, and I want to paint them Coastal Blue by Rust-Oleum and then white wax them. Mm, they're going to look so beautiful. So $4.99 each, and these two are wood. They don't have like any markings, so I don't know, you know, what if they were a brand or something. But I think these with the details on them are going to look so beautiful with the white wax on there. And the coastal blue is gorgeous in Rust-Oleum. So $4.99 each. After I paint them, wax them. Hmm. I'd probably sell them for mm, like $18.95 each. Probably like, yeah, because you're doing all of those steps. Yeah. So $4.99 each is what I paid for these. <laughs> Denise, I'm screaming. Okay, I will try that with like uh, these two, because these have like a lot of wax up in them. Um, found, oh wait, here, two more candlesticks. These were $3.99 for the set and they're brass candle. Oh, gosh, I keep wanting to drop them. I just thought that they were really like, 
I don't know, simple. I'm not gonna, I don't plan on doing anything with them. I just thought that they were pretty. They were clean looking. I don't know. They reminded me of like Magnolia. I don't, I don't know why, but, and they were $3.99 for the pair of them. So grab that. Hey, Teresa. Yes, we save everything from the trash. John, I've had to tell him that I'm not collecting glass jars anymore because he just washes them and then saves them for me. And I'm like, no, we could toss those now. Hi, Mickey. Okay, that was the candle holders. Let's keep going. Look at this. This is huge and it is a marble rolling pin. So has the wood handles and this thing is heavy so heavy so i haven't i actually have a collection of rolling pins going in my stash right now haven't put them in my booth but from all of the people that i watch rolling pins seem to be very popular so this is probably not one i would decorate maybe paint the handles like some like a red color would look really sharp or like black and distressed um but this was only 3.99 now how much do you guys think this would cost in a store? This is a heavy marble rolling pin. And I was like, for $3.99, I'm not leaving that there. Not leaving it. Yay, Mickey. Yeah, so I was really excited. I was like, this thing is heavy duty. So at least 30 bucks, right? I'm seeing Samantha here, but then it's slowing, okay. There we go. There we go. All right. What else next? What else next? Uh, let's see. These baskets. These are super popular right now. And this was $3.99. I actually really like the color of this one. I don't know if everybody else would, but I love it. Easy to just upcycle this. Or even if I put it in the booth and just played it with some pumpkins hanging in it and then some like greenery hanging from that that could look super cute too because we all know the blue is in this season so i'll have to send you a photo it's the big trash day and some down the road was tossed in a big piece that i can diy yes i have a rolling pin problem i just can't seem to pass on you don't even bake oh my gosh i love that i don't either but you know what if they're cheap, I will, I need to use some of them for sure. So I grabbed this one. Crate and Barrel has them for $24.99. That's crazy. And then I grabbed this basket. I thought this one was really cool. Like I see these pretty frequently, but they're usually like really high in price. But I thought this one was really cool how it's like square in the front. I say 60 in Canada. Wow. That's a still. Mm. All right, we need to make a rolling pin video. So, and I sunk in, in right. I don't know. I just thought this was so cool, and it was only two ninety nine. So, I picked that up. I like it. Two ninety nine. Why not? There's so much you can do with the baskets. You know, like you could put florals in there. I could even put some open books in here if I wanted to, with a little bit of florals sticking out. You could just put greenery in there. Um, pumpkins. There's a, a lot that can be done with these. Hey, Monica. Thanks for joining us, girl. All right. So I got those. Let's put that with our ginormous basket. Oh, and I found this one. So this one was also $2.99 and it is like, I don't know, very well done. Look at all like the detail. It's super thick. And I thought of Julie's is it Julie Signs and Designs? I think that's what her channel is called. And she, during the spring, makes like lavender. I actually have like a huge bundle of lavender right here. And she like puts them in and makes like a huge lavender basket. And I thought, you know what? That could be super cute. So Zadie will be so upset that she missed your live. They started school last Thursday. Oh, I'll tell her I said hi. Those baskets for the Arco, I could have never passed those up. I'm so jealous you found them. 
Glenna, this, are you talking about this, if it's wood or plastic? This is, I don't know, wicker? <laughs> wicker? I don't know. Are lights still on out there? Um, yes, I love Julie too. That's a good still, Heidi. Yeah, lamb's ear. Walmart actually came out with, so they sell their like picks of lamb's ear for $2 for two picks, but they came out with a new version of it. They still have the old ones, but these are like on like an actual like stem and they have, I think actually, I think it's actually a better price for them. And they're a little bit like longer and fuller um, for the lamb's ear. So I need to pick those up next time. And I think they were like the like 398 version, but yeah. Um, um, let's see what else I got more. I got more. All right. So we were looking in like the furniture department and I found this sitting on a sofa and I just couldn't pass it up. My husband said it looks like a witch's like cauldron or like teapot. And I mean, maybe somebody would use it for that, but this thing, oh, it didn't even squeaks. I love it. I love this. Mommy. Look at the colors. Yeah. What did you just say? That daddy said it looks like it would belong to like a witch. Or you can use and it then, for Halloween. Yep, or we could use it for Halloween. And then it even has the like chain that connects to the teapot lid. And then like, look at the legs on this and the spout. I just thought it was things like this. I have to buy things like this because they're like the items that it's like once in a lifetime. Like you're not gonna see this again. I'm not gonna see this at another thrift store. You know what I'm saying? So it was $4.99. I couldn't pass it up. I've never seen one that looks like this before. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or sell it. Cause I just think this is so cool. And my husband's right. It would look really cool for like a Halloween vignette or something like that. We are for a bad storm today. Oh no, Mickey. We had some rain and stuff yesterday, but it didn't last that long. Yes, okay. You collect teapots, Elaine? Yeah, it's very unique. And things that are unique, I can't pass it up. I just can't. I, I'm like, if it's something I know I'm never gonna see again, I'm gonna get it. Okay, so I got crockery stamps from IOD. And I am, um, I am actually our video for Saturday. It's going to be all stuff that I'm doing with the crockery stamps. So I'm really excited. A vignette is, uh, like, um, like a display and arrangement, I guess you could say. Right, ladies? Is that, am I right? Um. So I'm going to use my crockery stamps, but I don't own crockery. I don't own anything like that. So, oh, this was actually Goodwill for $4.99. I just got this one. I thought it was a little much for $4.99, but I like that it didn't have anything on it. So I could seriously just paint and then, you know, do whatever I want. So since I'm new to using the stamps, I was like, mm, we'll try this one. It's plain. I could work with it. Of course, we'll paint it. Um... Okay, so yeah, that is what a, a vignette is. And then I grabbed this one. This was $4.99 at Savers. And it had a lid, and I don't know why, but I really liked the shape of it, just how it's a little bit rounded. I don't know. I liked the shape of it. And I saw on Ginger, Ch Ginger Chick, um, she said that most of the time you can like soak these in hot water and just get like a razor blade and scrape the image off. So I might try that. And if not, I'm gonna cover it anyways with like baking soda paints to do like a faux cement look. So I got this one to try out. Again, I'm new to the stamps, so we're gonna see. Yeah, a grouping of decor, that's what I call the vignette. Where is this good? So Glenna, the Goodwill was the one in, I guess they're, they're they say it's Overland Park. It's the one on 135th and Metcalf, right by the 69 highway. 
Um, that's where the Goodwill is. And then the Savers I went to is in Olathe off of Santa Fe. Uh, Art No Bay? Yeah, Goodwill prices are insane right now. Okay, let's see. What else did I get? Let's get through this. <laughs> you guys, what are we going on? Almost an hour. Jeez Louise. Okay, so... I told you I've been watching Julie's Signs and Designs. Like, I basically binge watched her channel once I found it. And so, of course, when I went, I was like picking up everything and any <laughs> and anything that I've seen her use. Oh, you're lucky, Jen. My Goodwill's crazy. So I picked up these. Let me see. Is this just one piece? Yeah. So I picked up this. So this was just in the kitchenware section. These are actually really common. I find these um, at the Salvation Army too. And Julie, what she does is she uses like spindles and then it's easy because you could screw them right through the holes. And then she makes like trays and stuff with them, which I think is so cute because you can make them short, you can make them higher, and then you could spray paint them white, distress them down, do whatever you want to do with these. This could even be really cute painted and then putting greenery, like a word or something like that, you know? So this was $2.99 at Savers and I love it. And it's a decent size. I think this would be super, super cute with some legs on there. Uh, let me see, never been to that Goodwill. My local Goodwill has amazing prices. Thanks, Tina. Spring shop hobby, yeah, Hobby Lobby. If you guys go watch Teresa B DIY, no, she has a new channel. What is it, Teresa? I think you're on here. Um, I think it's Teresa's Home and Halls. Maybe she just did a clearance Hobby Lobby video. Uh, do you have a Goodwill outlet? No, but and I still have not been to our Habitat for Humanities. I need to go to there too, Momo. What do you want? Goodness gracious. Home and Halls with Teresa. There you go. This video. Then I found this one, which I thought, I mean, you can totally put legs on this, but I actually thought this would look cute with some twine wrapped around the handles and then put succulents in there and have it hanging. I thought that would be super like cute. You could put it outside. You could put it in an office. I thought that would just be a really cute like use for this. I believe these are to steam stuff. Like I think this was to steam where you could drop it down in the pots and then lift it up. And the same thing with this, like you would put it on top of, and let me know if I'm wrong, you guys. I, I'm not much of a cook myself, but I know my mom had a couple of these. Um, so you would put this like in a pot or something and then put like veggies or whatever on top and it would steam them. I'm not sure about this one though, because it is larger. So let me know down in the comments, you guys, what would these be for? So, and this one, you guys was only $1 and 99 cents. This one, this one I know is definitely like for steaming and stuff like that. And then I found this one which I really liked the design on the side of it. And these two would look cute, like just as is with legs and you could keep it silver. We could even like rust this up with some vinegar and put some distressed chippy like spindle legs on it. This one had a handle. This again would be like a steamer. And I don't know, do I want it to hang? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna take the, cause this, they just pop right out. This one was $2.99. So you guys, if you are like resellers, these are so inexpensive. They are all over the kitchenware aisle. And I mean, $2.99 for that big one, $1.99, $2.99, and then you can flip them for a great profit. Yeah, the flat one is for grilling veggies. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the crazy lamp lady. I've been watching her too. Okay, I think, so the last couple of things are copper. So I don't know if anybody watched Upcycled by Brie. 
Um, but I also binge watch her channel too. And she always shows like what she finds at the thrift stores, garage sales. And she says copper is a huge seller for her. So I bought some items and I figured, you know what, why not try, see if they sell in my booth. She does a lot of online selling too, which I think I will transition into eventually. But, I, and I don't know if this one's copper. I could be, I don't know, but I just liked it either way. But I got one of these pans. Whoa, seriously, what are you doing? I love these pans. I don't know why. I think they're great to decorate with because they have so much detail in them. And this one was only $1.99. It says like four cups on the side. And I just, I love them. Like even just to keep as it is like on a counter and put like your fruits and veggies in or to upcycle, we can put some, like I said, like succulents in there or you could just hang it on the wall as decor. Mo, you are annoying girlfriend. <laughs> so that was $1.99. Then tell me what this is, you guys. I grabbed it because it was copper. You are driving me insane. So here's this. I loved it. This actually reminded me of my fool's gold ring my mom gave me. And I loved the leaves and everything, but it doesn't have a bottom. So what is this? What would this, what would this have like gone on or what would you do with it? It does look like copper. So this one was $2.99. Looks like they had like worker. It says a Tef Tel Telflora gift made in India. I don't know. What would you guys what do you do with this? Copper bump pan being a cool paint stuff. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, come on, honey. Hey Amber! Looks like a cheesecake pan. Oh, I should probably start researching this stuff too. But I grabbed it just because I really, really loved the leaves. It reminded me of my ring. Does it have a latch on the side? No, no latch, just, just handles. That's it. So this one was $2.99. We'll have to see what we can do with Mama, this. Mama, mommy can't. Momo can't get out. Well, Momo. Go, Mo. <laughs> you guys probably saw my likes. That's okay. It looks like one of those spring form pan. Spring form. What's a spring form pan? It's missing something. It is supposed to. Oh, it's supposed to have a bottom. Oh, cheesecake pan. Missing bottom. Okay. All right, well, we'll have to think of what to do with this then. Since it's missing the bottom, I can't, I don't really know. Maybe we could put, I don't know. All right, so my little old lady dog is over here trying to get attention. Don't smack her booty. No, she's, all right, here is another copper. This one says made in Korea. And I thought this was so, are you trying to get on my pillow? That's what she's trying to do. She wants my pillow. Um, I grabbed this one. I loved it. I love that it was all tarnished up. Like even the inside was tarnished. This one was $3.99. Oh, Jesse. well, we just, um, over here, that used to be that bright red wall. So we just painted everything and we haven't put anything back up yet because we don't know what we want to do with the living room over here. Uh, spring form is a cheesecake. Oh, okay. Hope you let us know what you're going to do with these. I'm sure some of us have these items. Yeah, for sure. We will definitely be doing them on the DIY channel. So what does it say? If it doesn't have the thing on the side, how would it expand to open and close? So I'm not sure if it's a spring form. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so I grabbed this one. This one was $3.99, probably more than I would usually pay for something, but 
I figured, you know what, it's adorable. Maybe somebody else will love it. It even has like detail in like the handles. Don't know if you guys could see like the little lines and stuff. Mommy. Why, babe? You should put those um, okay. right here. Oh, okay. Then I found another one of these pans. And this one actually says, it's like stamped on here. Goodness, so solid copper. And I love that it has the hanger on there already so that you can use it as decor. I, like I said, I love these pans. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm drawn to them. I love them. This one's a lot more like rose gold another jello mold i felt so silly that in my diy video i was calling that jello mold a bunt cake pan like the entire time i was using what are you doing bud um and this one was also 3.99 and i didn't mind paying it because i mean it said solid copper so grabs that one and then let's see and this one i thought was so and again, this one was $3.99 too. It seemed like almost all the cost. I could not help myself with this one. Like it has, I don't know what this is, a flower, but it was the handles that got me. Look at that. I don't know why they were, they're like so thick. And then like even like these look like they were hammered in because there's no like you can't screw it on and i don't know the handles got me here so 3.99 for that one that, that was cute even again to display it because i don't know how other people would do it i would probably put like a succulent in it put it on like the side of my like sink on like a riser or something i don't know i don't know hey k mac Hi, Sharon. So I grabbed that one and then the last copper one was this guy. And this was $4.99. Yes. We haven't checked my fever. You don't have a fever. What yes, are you I talking do. about? Yes, I do. Oh, gosh. Um, so this is $4.99. And it's really large. It has like a kind of like a rounded bottom. I don't know. I like this one. And I liked the black metal on here as well. So got that one. This would look cute just like hanging from a hook or something. I don't know. Like that one a lot. Yes. I was telling uh, Elaine, were you the one that was saying no? that you had the outdated uh, bathroom. That is perfect for a witch's cauldron, yes. Ooh, that's good to know. Copper's expensive right now. Hey, hey, hey. As a cash pot for my plants. Yeah, like I see plants in them. There's so much you can do with these. So I got that and then the last thing you guys, like oak color, so I might change up the color on this but i like it for a tray it's not broken there's no damage to it it's super super sturdy so you could also use these as well to make um almost like wreaths i've used these before in my diy videos and i've put sunflowers with eucalyptus leaves and then like the family sign across it so uh, you could use them for those too if you don't want to use them for trays and these are fairly inexpensive Like I said, this one was only two dollars and forty nine cents. So uh, Love your DIYs. Thank you so much, Aaliyah Natty, I don't have a like a strict budget. I do need to especially as like I keep buying more and sorry, I see my videos going like this. Um, no, no, I have no budget. I need to set a budget though. 
I've started doing that for Dollar Tree because I really like don't. I have no need for any more Dollar Tree items. I really don't. I probably don't need any more uh, thrift store items either because I got more to show you guys in the back on a later video. But you guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I have a feeling this is frozen right now because I just get thinking on my laptop. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I hope it inspired you to get out into the thrift stores. Find yourself a Salvation Army too, you guys, because they have a color that goes 50% off each week. So I love hitting up the Salvation Army. And I have not hit one up actually in a while. The manager that works there, he's probably like, where's my girl at? Because he's awesome. He's really good with the kids too. He's really cool. Um, thank you, K-Mac. I had fun with you guys too. Thanks for joining me. This was a long, long haul. This was over an hour. So, um, I, I'm sure nobody's shocked though, because my Dollar Tree hauls are like crazy long. So yes, you're welcome. Now I have to get back downstairs. Well, now I got to charge my phone, get back downstairs and, uh, keep making some stuff for Saturday's video. And I hope you guys enjoy that. Make sure, I think all of you guys are already on Unicorn Dust Design. So uh, have a good one, you guys. I hope you all are enjoying your week and you're staying safe and healthy. And I cannot wait to upcycle these with you guys and show you how I use them around my um, house. And make sure too, you guys are following me on Instagram on my Unicorn Dust Design one. I have been posting in stories when something sells in my booth and how much it sold for, for those of you that like are wanting to get into it and stuff. Oh, thanks, Jen. Cricket it. Yeah, Kim, that's awesome. Bye, Connie. Thank you so much, Sherry. Oh, girl, I hope it goes well for you. My screen is still going like this, so I don't know. It's, it's probably mine. And if you guys, when you log off of this video, if you could leave the actual video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Again, thank you for spending your time with me. And I will see you guys here on Friday for a Halloween Dollar Tree haul. So thank you guys again for spending your time with me. And 